past these gates and over the bridge lies Shock Tural. You have your permit, yes? Packed and ready? No last minute stops to make before we leave? Forgive me, I'm afraid traveling with our own Dawn Serpent may have scarred me for life. I got up. Oh no, I'm getting a thingy. Okay, sorry. Meanwhile, in the depths of the sky deep cenote. Or cenote. We don't really know how to pronounce that one. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'll do them. Eventually. One day. Yeah. <laughs> I do have to do those. Is this the first promise? I think so, right? I knew he was going to be the, the problem child. What's he doing? You see me? Mr. First? How did he get all the things? Didn't he knock at the last Jolly Rancher? Yeah, it's kind of like that, actually. They are kind of like that. Oh, yes, I do remember that. Did that guy have a copy of all the Jolly Ranchers? Is he gonna open the gate? I think that's a bad idea. This is the gate to the Golden City. Two decades ago, your father bade me transcribe a letter to a scholar across the salt, petitioning the study of this place. That must be Kral's grandfather. What he discovered was something the Dawn Servant feared enough to seal away forever, or so we thought until the right objective became the City of Gold. But to think that Tankwa would be entrusted with its safekeeping, and I had that doddering old fool carried a set of Oh, well that explains it. Had I known that the doddering old fool carried a set of keystones, we might have spared ourselves those, those tiresome thieves. Great power sleeps here, and with it you shall obtain your birthright. So you say, if the dawn servant succeeded where I could not, taking their throne will be no easy task. The resilient son underestimates his own potential. There's no need to worry. What is that? I've liberated the key from the Dawn Servant's vault. You alone have the means to unlock the gate. How the fuck did he manage that? You will gain all that you were denied. The right, your father's shade. These bitter memories shall soon be forgotten. Seize your future, promise. Open the gate and become the ruler you are destined to be. Oh yeah, right. They did say that. Oh my god. This is bad. It's working. Is some... There can hear me. At last. Who's there? Show yourself. If only I could. Alas, this gate will not open for me. Only the key in your possession can connect us. It is even more gold. You're right. Am I ready for Prime Day? I have not even looked at all the projected sales. I know sometimes people make like videos of like what's to be expected to go on sale. I should really check. I haven't looked at it at all. How about you, Richie? Then you are the guardian of the city's great power. I do not claim this power is great, but the knowledge I possess is enough to realize any desire to remake worlds. Is that so? Uh, that's just what he wanted, so this is not good. Fascinating. Name your price then, for my desire is the world itself. Yes, 
Yes, the resilient sun rises. Together we shall create a nation worthy of our rule. I, t I couldn't replicate it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that good? Did I do it right? Promise? Why? Wait. Wait. The useless tool is cast aside. Deliver me a new world, one that bends to my will. As you wish, but in exchange... Uh-oh. That's not good. Can't wait for all the Amazon products I don't want on sale. I'm not bitter. Actually, I haven't looked at it either, but the one thing I want is already on sale. Just not sure if tomorrow's deal will be better. Oh, I know. It's always kind of a gamble. I hope that if you wait, it is better. In exchange. Yeah, it seems like he wants something bad, I'm sure. Ready to get underway? Then present your travel pass to that guard and let us be off. You won't have to wait long to enjoy sightseeing. The bridge to Jacques Tural is a wonder in its own right. I swear, uh, I was like, I knew I had one of those. Um, okay, let's go to the Lands Guard Gate Sentry. This gate's barred to all save those with express permission from one of the Dawn Servants. Signed by Val Wuklamot herself. My apologies, miss. If you should wait here just a moment. Uh. Even if I don't have a receipt? Good question. I don't know. You're gonna have to ask the big boss. I'll have to let you know. Shall we then? Oh, this is acting for me. Off to Jacques Tural. We have a new map to explore with new Aether Currents. We're gonna be here a while. It's like a desert. On the far side of that great bridge unfolded the wilds of Shalom, where the sun guides in the Shetona town. A harsh guide to be sure, with its blazing rays scorching the land and hardening its inhabitants. Great. But sweeping change had come to the arid expanse when, beneath its red crust, vast deposits of ceruleum were discovered. Embracing this opportunity, Vau Kona supporters hurtle on, driven by dreams of a future illuminated by blue flame. It is here that our journey continues, our path taking us along wending roads of steel, each length of track a declaration of hope and ambition. Shalom. I'm still, I'm, I'm actually not feeling too hot right now, but that's, that's good because I have these pants on. <laughs> so. My home, Yasulani, lies past Shalom. Oh, it's past. It okay. It will be a long journey. But the railroad should make it easier. <laughs> As for the way to the train station, let's ride these fellows, shall we? They look interesting. All right. We'll talk to Aaronville up here. Short on Roni? Afraid so. If one will suffice, I have a creature ready and waiting. 
But if you need two, then you'll have to wait. The Ronique have been acting strange of late, more easily spooked and otherwise disagreeable. Taking out the few fit for rent and proven bothersome work. They seem like they've seen some shit. Like their eyes are just like staring at the ground, really big. They're usually so docile, and the ones I saw earlier didn't appear to be unhealthy either. But much has changed since last I was here. Not the best part, or start, sorry, to our journey. Still, the train station isn't far. Seeing as we aren't in a hurry, let's go on foot. About that, sir, as well-traveled as you look, it's not only the Ronique that have been giving us trouble. Other wildlife have shown signs of aggression, too. A merchant should be returning soon with one of our beasts. Stick around till they do, and I'll see you both on Ronique for a safer trip. Your offer is most appreciated, but I don't think my friend here is particularly concerned about the wildlife. Uh, whatever gets us where we're going faster, I would say. We don't have Hawkins cheesies. I mean, I've never seen them, but I don't know. I don't think I have a Western fit, actually, Stu. As sad as that is to say. Are those bisons? It's said that they say bye to their sons. There you go. Did you pick that option too? Good choice. Even if you left now, waiting for the Ronique to be faster than walking and safer besides, you'll be back on the road before you know what I promise. At Metro branded stores? I don't go there often, so that's probably why I don't see them, I guess. No cowgirl Tifa fit. IRL, I have one of those, though. And there we have it. Hey, Link. Right, change of plans. There's a small town nearby. We can pass the time there while waiting. Take it, you're heading to... Pusatawi, then? I'll have a man bring the Ronique over there. Just mind yourself around the drunkards and troublemakers, eh? Great. Good to know that we, we have some troublemakers afoot. Okay, we want to go to the north for the first Aether Compass, so... Or, a sorry, Aether Current. 132. Eighty-eight. Still going northeast. I see it. Um. Oh, thanks, Tony. Not yet, Colette. The pre-order was scheduled to ship in August, so we still have a month to go. But don't worry, I'm keeping an eye on it. I promise. And as soon as I get it, I will open it up right on stream. We'll all bask in her glory, because she's gonna be so freaking cute. I know. I don't know why I wanted to go on foot. I don't know why I was punishing myself, but I did. I did. Hello? There. Last time I was here, it was a little more than a camp with a shop or three. I think we said the arc was the mount I was supposed to be using. I have it on the hot bar. <laughs> Thanks, Colach. I'm looking forward to her arrival. Well, well. It's become a proper town. A proper town. Got a nether right thingy. A big boy. The figure hey. juggle? Uh oh. We got some wanted posters. Now hold on a minute. Oh, yes, true, true. I'm talking to you, you old bastard. Oh, <sighs> give me strength. For the last time, the investigation is closed. There's no refuting the evidence. Nice earrings, they're cool. I don't give a shit about your evidence, you lying scum. You release my friends, or I'll make you wish you had. I agree, Moz. <sighs> Let me remind you who the scum is here. 
Your friends, who had the temerity to point their firearms at me, the deputy chief of the Dust Watch. And after taking them into custody, what should we discover? But incontrovertible proof that they had committed larceny. They will not be released until they've paid for their crimes. I'd heard the peacekeeping force had been formed to deal with growing lawlessness. Seems the situation is bad indeed. Yeah. Still can't get up a fuss, eh? Sounds like poor Tsekua needs his bottle. Sure he wouldn't prefer his mama's tea? Sassy. <laughs> Treat me like a child, will you? My friends haven't done anything wrong, damn it! They've been framed! Oh, stubborn little runt. Uh, listen here, Zekoa. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you'd best comport yourself like one. That means respecting the rule of law. Order may be precarious here in Shaloni, but it can be had if each man does the right thing. And for those that don't, well, they have to answer to the Dust Watch. Now run along and think before you cast aspersions next time. Lest you hurt my feelings. Oh? This guy's kind of scary. Fine. That's how it's gonna be. <gasps> I wouldn't if I were you. Justinian? Oh yeah. Is that? Yup. There's a time to fight and a time to withdraw. For you, that's now. What? Hey! What are you doing, Zekawa? You better not be stirring up trouble. Wahute, you sack of Ronek shit! This ain't over. Oh, it's pronounced Ronek. I said Ronik. Damn it. That's two E's. Oh well. You wanna tell me what that was about? Nothing that need concern you, sir. Apparently. Zekoa is simply struggling to come to terms with the low character of his friends. But for good measure, I'll have the men keep an eye on him. Yes, you do that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go make my rounds. All right, I guess we'll go say hi to a uh, Sinian. I wasn't expecting to see your faces among the crowd. Why not? Talk is rife, there's a new dawn servant. Take it you found it then. The Golden City. Aye. The contest is over. And as I needed to return home to Yasulani, I offered to show our friends some of Shakhtura. Yeah. Show me around, baby. What brings you north? Nothing in particular. Just seeing what there is to see. Uh, how very like you. Guru Jaja compensated me rather generously for our duel. I'll be able to enjoy a comfortable life on the road for the foreseeable future. Nice. But for now, I shall be moving on. Oh. So soon? Oh, by the way, I recommend you try the Sabatender. They may not look it, 
is surprisingly delicious. Oh, is that what it was? I I saw the difference. But we don't serve sabotender here. What? So then why would he say that? No sooner do we set out than we run into excitement. At least no one was hurt. This Dutch watch has their work cut out for them. For as long as I can remember, all disputes, big or small, were settled by dueling. The peoples of Shaloni rarely saw eye to eye, and for better or worse, it was the simplest way to settle differences. Since most would sooner not risk their lives, though, it encouraged parties to pursue peaceful resolutions in a roundabout fashion. The Dust Watch was likely established by supporters of Kona, preferring peace be enforced and through the formal rule of law. A reasonable stance, all things considered. If things ever got out of hand, the land's guard would be forced to step in. What freedom they have now would be lost under Sheral Jaw's authority. All of which is to say that unless a lengthy stay in a jailhouse appeals to you, be mindful of how you handle your arms in town. Bum, 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 bum. I should like to think the stableman has arrived with the Ronek by now. I'll go on ahead and check. If you still want to look around, then be my guest. Come and find us when you've had your fill. I just want to take a look to see if there's any current near us. This is northeast. You know what? I will take a quick gander. And if I'm going far and it's still not popping up anywhere near us, then I'll turn back. But 419? It looks like it's wide open here. Maybe. 359. Could be. We may get it. We may get it yet. Slowness. 222. Two, two. Oh, it's telling me to go east. I wonder if I can go around this corner, though. Yep, there we go. The flying popoto. Please don't bother me while I'm trying to get this. My choice in the birding? Oh, this guy. I haven't actually even seen the abilities that I changed and upgraded yet. It looks nice so far. Okay, he's dead. So I'll get the current and then we'll do my choice of barding. So we'll go here. I'm gonna choose barding of the light. I don't think we've seen that one. Um, barding of light not recently anyway uh okay so we got that and then we had nathan with the minion um and did i miss anything else i don't think so uh, which minion did we want? Garuda. Okay. Um, minion. Garuda. Hey, SOB. How's it going? We got that. I'll put the chocobo on as our mount for now. This one looks pretty cool. And we'll head to the next marker. Oh, shit. I clicked the wrong one. It does say west, but I'll do, um, I'll do the next MSQ thingy because we might head up this way anyway. Oops. I did travel pretty far, not realizing that it was that far. In fact, but that's okay. Please leave me alone. We don't want to fight right now. Do, 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 do. Hello. I got stuck on the rock. I 
can't get over how like country western they made this little town. Like it legit has dual in the street vibes. Okay. Jump off here. The friend I take it? Sorry to keep you both waiting. Unruly wildlife's not the only source of recent distress, I'm afraid. Also been a rise in robberies targeting merchants. As a result, we got a lengthy list of folks wanting to use a Renek. Which is why I have to ask that you stop at Sheshenwezi Springs. That's fine, of course, but why hasn't Dust washed out with this banditry? Kamaka and his fellows are doing what they can, but they reckon the bandits are operating as a gang. Rounding them all, easier said than done. Rob, thank you very much for the 100 bits. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I forgot that that was a thing in, in that game. Lots of vibes, Sakuya. Lots of vibes. Um, I don't think I can either, honestly, Stu. Not that I've played. Not that I've played. If you have anything of value, you'll want to take care. Thank you for the warning. We'll be sure to stay vigilant. Right then, if you're ready to set off, I'll see you on your way. Ready? Then saddle up. Your friend seems to know the way, so I won't bother giving you directions. That sounds so cute, Moz. I love that. This is your first time, so let's take it slow. Take care not to let it toss you. I think I'll be fine. Thank you very much. Yeah, true, Stu. True. I continue to be struck by how much Jaloni has changed. That town we just visited wasn't even here several years ago. With few reliable opportunities to replenish water supplies, travelers turned to Napa attenders. Not just for the water in their stems, mind, their fruits are also said to be both nutritious and delicious. We're going actually a lot farther than I thought we were going to. I should have, okay. See that hole there? Some might hope to find water there, but it's brimming with cerulean. The eruption of flames from within make for a spectacle inspiring cautionary tales of people who wandered too close. Yeah, because there was supposed to be one to the west of where we were. The wall of key, meanwhile, show great reverence to cerulean and its blue flames. But that's a discussion for another time. For here. A good thing for these Renek. No sooner do we dismount than the next passengers are already on their way. They really are showed them Renek. Now then. This is Sheshenawezi Springs, perhaps the busiest town here in Shaloni. People travel here from all over hoping to find their fortune. The change come to Has... Hasatawi. I cannot... Okay, Hasatawi. I think so. First, was surprising enough. But this is no less impressive. They've achieved a great deal in the three years I've been away. The station is on the eastern side of town, but there still is... There should still be time before the next train departs. If you don't mind, I'd like to pay visit to an old friend of my mentor. Ayate is her name, and she learned that I passed through without saying a word. She never let me hear the end of it. She set out for our village some ten years ago, hoping to earn coin as she traveled about Tyrol. I can but assume she too came here seeking greater opportunities. In any case, let us see if we can find her. Her blue hair should make her easy to spot. Also, shit, did I- was there- I don't think I attuned. Uh, oh, I forgot. That really sucks. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back. It's okay. There was, um, there was, a there was, um, a, a current that I needed to get that was down that way, so I'll just, I'll run back. That, that's so annoying, though. I'm annoying. Why'd I do that? 
So remember something I meant to ask during just chatting portion about the trust NPC outfits? That you're gonna ask me? Um, okay, hang on. I did. I did. Those a-holes. <laughs> oh my god. I want Northwest for the next one. I don't want to do that. No, I'm going to go. I'm going back down. <clears throat> yes, I think I recall that. Yes. That does sound familiar to me. Also, Chad, I have to pee. Are we surprised? I'm really not. I drank a lot of water today. Once I go back to that other city, I might run and do that really quickly. Oh, cool. I think I have that bird, don't I? Is that one of the ones we farmed? It looks like them. No, I didn't know that. I like never use them. I actually had no idea. That, that makes me like want to use them more, but I did not know that. <clears throat> yeah, I freaking just like totally ran and did not touch this thing, which I should have. What they gave Yashtola in this expansion? I don't know. Um you get a cowgirl fit? That would be an outfit, that's true. <clears throat> that would. They gave her a bikini, really? I'm actually kind of surprised by that, to be honest, but I guess it, it's what the people wanted. Chad, give me a quick second, I'm just gonna go pee. Of course, of course. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'll leave this up. I'm gonna be really quick. I just, I drank too much water. I'll be right back, chat. Um, enjoy the music. I'll be back.
welcome back. I had a voicemail and I was like, oh, somebody called me. I'm so important. And then I realized that I didn't leave a message, so it was probably spam. My dreams got dashed pretty fast over that one. <sighs> That's what happens. That's what happens. Okay, um, let me... Uh, just get us back to situation here. Back to situated here. Um... Okay. That's good. Everything else is good. This is fine. Yep. Uh-huh. 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 This is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'm gonna double check to see if there was an actual current to the west of here. Because I feel like it said that there was at one point, but it could have been a lot higher up. Um based off of where I was positioned previously. Like, it might have been the one that was telling me to go northwest, but, um, yeah, we'll see. I've never in my adult life bothered to set up my voicemail. Really? I have. <clears throat> I have FOMO. So I worry if someone, like, called me and it was, like, something exciting and then I didn't know about it, I'd be, like, missing out. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm like, ha ha. You don't leave a voicemail? Sometimes I do. <clears throat> Sometimes I do. Okay, so let me to go north. Let's go to the north. Uh, actually, I'll take the chocobo. I think it's faster than the park right now. We do have to show off the barding as well. Yeah, north, huh? Let's see. Still saying north. All right. Okay, We're, we'll take it. Still going north. Get us stuck on the plot. Get oh, okay. Never mind. I was like, we're gonna get stuck on the cactus, <clears throat> but no. We're good. We press on. Okay, we're about halfway there. Bum, bum, bum. Doo, doo. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, still not quite there yet, but almost. 88. Mm. 50. Mm. Wait, is it east? When did that change so abruptly? South? Oh shit, it's on this rock? I wasn't ready for that. Do I go? Huh. That was a hard one to get up to. Just giving me a little bit of a hard time. Northwest. Now it's telling me west. Wait, how then did it say? Oh. Oh yeah, we're almost there. Okay, perfect. This is like right near the other place. So we'll get back on track right away. Here we go. Shaloni Station. We're doing a great job. 180 Southwest. That seems pretty close too. Nope. Don't do it. But now it's saying west. Do I have to go on top of whatever this thing is? I hope not. Yep. I'm climbing. I'm climbing. This thing? I have no idea. I don't remember. I have to use a certain ability to proc the purple thing, and I think when there's two of them, it makes uh, one of my abilities stronger. Whatever Gershka Gold turns into, I think it, it makes it stronger. I don't know if that's correct. 
I think so. Did I attune to this, by the way? I did. Okay, I'm looking for Shatona with blue hair. And she's supposed to be somewhere in the circle. You're welcome. I don't know if that was correct. I, I, that's kind of what I remember. Oh, here we go. I don't disagree, Moz. I don't disagree. Yes, I'm Ayate, and who might you be? <clears throat> She's my friend. Hold on. Yeah, you can come in. Chat. Oh my earbuds. What a chaotic day today. I'm so sorry. Every two seconds, I feel like I'm interrupting us here. Okay, the dog is fixed. She's back. Okay, could it be? Goodness, it is. Ella Erinville. Yes. So what what is with his old name? Like he doesn't want people calling him by his old name anymore, which feels like weird. I don't understand. A man grown. You were such a darling little thing as a child. You know, it's only been three years since last we spoke. Really? Only three? I suppose it all starts to get hazy after a while, living as long as we do. Well, this is Ayate. She's known my mentor since they were children. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I, I, it did go away. Yes. Never thought I'd see the day when you travel with company. You really have grown. Elena's at... Hey. Is it Ellen Shipya? Really? Hey, hey, hey! Out! Come on. Come over here, okay? No wonder they need the desk. You know better than that. No. I'm gonna have to go, like, right up here. Okay. People call it a dead name? Elenishpia? Ellen Elenishpia? Uh is that what they call you here? Now I feel so close. I feel like you're seeing into my soul. Alright, I was born Elenishpia. I adopted a new name when I became a gleaner. One that adheres to Eastern Vieira conventions, so as to avoid drawing attention. Given that this is a homecoming, it was only a matter of time before you found out. Nevertheless, I would appreciate it if you would continue using my chosen name. Okay, that makes more sense now. I understand. A homecoming? You know, I've been thinking of paying the old stamping grounds to visit myself. It'd be good to see... Kasia again? She's the finest archer I know. Uh, Elenesh Pia's mother and mentor. Every time I drop by, she treats us to a veritable feast prepared with fresh game that she'd hunted herself. You're impressive with the bow too, Ayate, even among the Shatona. Oh, I couldn't compare to Kasia, but her skill at arms pales in comparison to her knowledge of nature. That's what earned her a place among Gulul Jaja's traveling companions, after all. Kafkiwa? Oh, this is so hard to pronounce all the things. 
She was always the inquisitive sort, but her journey across her all lit a fire in her. Even after Elenish Pia was born, she often left him in my care so that she could embark on another expedition in search of the unknown. Oh, how you would cry and beg her to take you along. It must have been hard on you. Ayate, please. What? We're all friends here, aren't we? No matter how many times he asked, the answer was always the same. You can come when you prove you're a true explorer. Thus did she task me with finding the Golden City. It's not my best efforts. All paths led nowhere. I assumed it was but a dreamer's fancy, a ploy to goad me into experiencing the wider world. But it was real, and we found it. You found it? As part of the Rite of Succession, I assumed everyone had heard. That's amazing. Oh, she'll be thrilled. And eager to bombard me with questions, no doubt. Hmm. Yeah, the new pronunciation difficulties for sure. I moved a couple of back. Cuz. You're in my personal space. Sorry. Sorry. If someone has never played Final Fantasy XIV, worth the time investment to start from scratch? I mean, I think so. I really enjoy the game. There is a lot of content, though, so, like, be prepared. There's a lot of content. But it's all really good. Dora is the best explorer in your experience? He should ask for some tips. Well, we should be on our way. Thank you so much for stopping by. Give my best to... Help! I need help! What's that about? We'll investigate. Please wait here. <laughs> of course. Of course, Colach pulls out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I guess I'm going straight this way. No doubt there are the infamous local bandits. Please, you have to help. I've been robbed. It's Namika, Wokelamot's nursemaid. Erinville, Marissa. Come in it closer and we'll slit her throat from ear to ear. Well, that's not good. If you so much as nick her skin, you won't live to regret it. Oh, yeah? Hold on. Did he say this is Wokelamot's nursemaid? Maybe this ain't such a good idea. Take the goods to the boss. We'll deal with this. Bye. Please, you have to give it back. I'm going after Namika. This lot, I leave to you. Um, honestly, fast. Well, A Realm Reborn, it's the first, like, content of the game. It's, like, the least good expansion in my opinion um so that's i think uh where the reference to like having to push yourself through the early story stuff would be it gets a lot more interesting kind of after that um but i feel like the world building is really worth it still to like play the, the game and get past that point um but the story just gets a lot more interesting in my opinion in the second expansion and onwards Cocky bastard. I'll hang him by the ears and feed the old woman to the dogs. No, you won't. I'm gonna kick your ass first. We can deal with them later. First, we need to put this one in the dirt. Remember putting me in the dirt? Like, as if, though? She doesn't know when to quit. Bye-bye. 
All right, so now, now where do I go? Oh, I gotta go over here. Uh, this way? Also, is there a current? Yeah, I know! I am a god killer! What the fuck? <laughs> like, how could they say that about me? Put me in the dirt. Give me a break. Give me a break! Also, 180. This should come up somewhere over here, I think. I know, I totally was blind to that arrow. I don't know why I, like, I ignored it. They really want to put all the currents on these ledges. Like, why you do that? Gotta go up here. Go one, two, three, four. No! I guess that's go up the ramp like a pleb. Don't look at that. We're gonna get fucked up. Sir, don't interrupt me. Oh my god, you seriously did that. I didn't press the right button. I really fucked that up. Wait till he does his thing. We'll go like this. Do one of these. Do a jump like this. Do this so I get buff. Hit this one, hit that one. Okay. I can stun enemies too. How do I do that again? Uh, I think I want to go this way. Oh, the leg sweep. Oh my god. Remember when I totally forgot that I had that? I think that's a regular occurrence, though. Southwest? Okay, I have to go a little past this, but... Which minion would you like, Azure Lightning? Thank you. I don't know what I would have done without you. The bandit managed to get away, but I have an idea of where they're headed. You said they stole something from you? A bracelet. It was a parting gift from Boclamot. I see. Close as you two were, I can only imagine how much it meant to you. But what brings you all this way? With the reddest session ended and Boclamot crowned the next Dawn Servant, she's ready to stand on her own. I told her as much, and my plans to return home to Yasul Yasulani. She gave me the bracelet that I might always remember our time together. It filled me with such joy, I wanted everyone to know. Everyone to see this wonderful gift given to me by the vow of resolve. And now it's gone. I wouldn't let them take every coin to my name. If only they had left me... Sorry, I would have let them take every coin to my name. If only they had left me that bracelet. I would ask what you intend to do, but I know that look. We're getting that bracelet back, bitches. Please, you mustn't put yourself in harm's way for my sake. I can assure you no harm will come to us. Marissa will make certain of that. I understand your methods can be brutal, but it would be wise to show some restraint lest you find yourself on the wrong side of the law. Perhaps it should come as well, to be sure all proceeds as it should. I don't know what to say. I can see why Wilklamot put so much faith in you both. Before anything else, let's see her back to Shishenowizi Springs. She'll be safer in town, and with Ayate there to keep an eye on her, we should have nothing to worry about. Thank you, both of you. You're welcome. Okay, let me do... So the wind-up airship for the minion. And roll. Okay, so minion. So we'll do wind-up. Wind-up is one word. Okay, F you. Airship. There we go. There was a dash. I really wanted to give me a hard time. And for the mount... Yo. Uh, okay. Now this has had to go southwest a little further for that current. I don't know. The song's giving me crisis core vibes right now. I think it's the guitar part.
The barding? Uh, chat, there's a barding that you want me to put on. You can definitely comment the name of it in the chat and I'll toss it on. 78 to the north. What? Did I miss it somewhere? Is it in a house somewhere? Where is it? Northeast? Oh, it's there. Another little hilltop. Hey, addicts, how's it going? Can you put one on IRL? A barding? I don't unfortunately have one, but if I did, I would. If I did, I would. But yeah, I have um, lots of options. I'm gonna just scroll through here. Somebody could pick one, that would be so great. And if we don't, I will pick one myself. That's what I will do! I'm doing okay, thank you for asking. You can't stop playing Elden Ring? That's not surprising to me, actually. I hope you're enjoying it. Bojan? Sounds good. I know it's Bojan, Bojan or Bojan. I don't remember how to say it exactly, but it's one of those. What do we got? I know, I need to get some better ones. I definitely do. We need to add to my list. Good, I'm so glad to hear you're having fun with it. It's a very great game. 318. Okay. I think he's away. Wild Daras, you leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Do you think they'll lift it tomorrow? Um, I have fun in Elden Ring sometimes. Not all the time. I feel like sometimes. Am I feeling okay? Guys, I said I've been enjoying this playthrough a lot more than the first couple times I tried to play it. So it's it's good, you know. I can enjoy that. Now. Back then, I didn't push myself as as properly, I suppose. I, I should have pushed myself in a different way, I guess. Oh, does it come out tomorrow? Hmm. Hard to say. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this current. Where is it? 192. Nope. Ah! Okay, I guess we'll just go. Mm-hmm. I hope you guys like those videos. Now with that attitude, it's all the way up top, right? Somewhere here. I don't really know how to get that yet. Were there any other ones I had to discover in this area? Yeah, there's three. I thought I was doing a good thing, you know? But I guess not. So I'm gonna go west. I'll just go up this way. Isn't there like a mountain there? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We are still in the MSQ. Yeah, I have tons to still do, actually. Like, if I look at the map, we've got these two other areas to still visit. And I'm currently in Shaloni. So, lost to see. Lost to see. So, they have a Lara bar. I'm hungry. I'm also kind of fading. I feel like that would be good for energy because it's an energy bar. If I get a voice cutscene come up, I'll eat one, I think. Have two? I already had one today. I will have one more. Aaronville told me what happened, and you need to worry about Namika. If those bandits should find us, I'll kick up a fuss and see them driven off. The bracelet meant everything to her, and those bastards wouldn't care even if they knew. It makes me sick. 
But at least she's safe. I know you'll set things right. Uh, yeah, probably. I know. Alright, let's go and recover that bracelet. While I have nothing but contempt for those bandits, as this involves a gift from Wuklama, we must be mindful how our actions reflect upon her. I doubt Namika would find joy in the return of said gift if lives were taken in the process. If it comes to violence, I ask that you stop short of killing them. The rest we can leave to the dust watch. Well now, that makes me think you're strong. Really strong. Are you? I'm gonna say nothing to that. In protest that this cutscene is not voiced. Lest you misunderstand, I'm not questioning your abilities. As a matter of fact, that silence is the sort of response I'd expect from a peerless warrior. If your curiosity has been sated, then please indulge mine. Is there anything you can tell us about these bandits? Let's see. Well, of late, there's been talk about some unsavory types coming and going from Tonaten Yawi to the southwest. Is that the old mining town that was abandoned? That's the one. Now that Cerulean Extraction is big business, no one wants to waste their time picking up the dried veins there. Sounds like a perfect lair for bandits, not to mention the one with the bracelet fled in that direction. So you'll be investigating the place? I can let the Dust Watch know if you like. No, not yet. It'd be best if we went alone. There's something I'd like to ascertain if you've no objections. Then we'll be off. Alright, baby. We do be off. We're, do we're doing it. We're going. We're doing the thing. Okay. Next, we are going back over this way. Aw, oh, man. Maybe this is a long enough run that I could have one? Probably not. I could probably have a bite, though. I need something to nourish me right now. Although it's good to go to yoga class, I have to go to the ones that are really early and like just to keep my schedule on track right now. And it's just, it's burning me out a little bit. I need a taxi? Yes. I do. You're right. Can I get a bite in before we get there? Nope. God damn it. For real. Really? I doubt that she'd find joy in you getting the gift back if you killed the man who mugged her mother and were threatening to kill her. Really? I feel like Wilkelamot would be cool with that. <laughs> the very beginning would have been a vibe to see Ayate? Um. Oh, thank you, Moz. I appreciate it. It seems the bandits have claimed this place for themselves. I like this guy's outfit. They've made no attempt to conceal their presence. How can the Dust Watch not have noticed by now? A question for another time. First, you must find the bracelet. I don't see the bandit who had it. Perhaps they're in one of the buildings? Ramshackle as they are, it should prove a simple thing to eavesdrop on anyone inside. If you would go and have a look about, I'll keep watch for trouble. Okay. Um. Okay, we got a destination spot up here. It's 
kind of like in the wall. The bandits will not notice you here. You can safely eavesdrop on them inside. Do you have enough water, Bubby, or do you need more? All I want to do is play my game. But everyone keeps interrupting me today. Here you go. There's lots of freshies there, okay? Okay, so as you lean in to listen, you begin to pick out voices in the muffled chatter. Didn't know where we'd be without him. Probably shoveling sand, praying we'd strike it rich. Ain't that the truth? Only an idiot would work the mines with easier money than them to be had. Not when we got a boss who can keep the dust washed off our backs. Hey, watch what you say. The wind's got a way of carrying secrets to the wrong ears. Maybe so. But who'd ever believe one of them sainted souls was running our crew? That drunk who brought your story about the gold shitting alpaca, am I right? Huh? Okay, that's one of three. I guess I'll take the chocolate. Bye, Sakuya. Have a good one. I hope it goes well. The bandits will not notice you here. You can see if they eavesdrop on any inside. Hi, my girl. As you lean in to listen, you hear someone entering the room on the other side. I've brought back a prize you're gonna love, boss. Have a look at this bracelet. Beautiful, ain't it? Ben, bet it was made by a famous artisan. You idiot. How are we supposed to move something like this without attracting attention? Boss, please, please, I'm sorry. Reckon we could find a sailor who won't ask questions. Sell it for a song. Here, your reward. And don't bring me this kind of grief again. It's not my birthday. Oh, I just freaking go right through. I don't even care. Bulldoze. I won't, boss. Thank you. You're welcome. I think. Okay, that was two of three. Uh, I would assume that they would be, Shatter. I would assume that they would be. Man, I really want to have another bite of my energy bar. It, it has, it did help a little bit. One, one bite that I already have, but I have to keep reading. Thank you, Azure Lightning. As soon as I can stop reading, I will. I just, I have, I've had to keep reading every five seconds, so. As you lean in to listen, a familiar voice rings out through the wall. Let me out of here, you bastard. Shut your mouth, you sniveling little brat. Make me. I'll get you all back for framing my friends. The vulture, most of all. You tell me you can eat shit. Sounds like that, that reminds me of... You can eat shit and fucking die. Isn't that like... Well, it's a Skrillex song. But there wasn't it from like South Park or something originally? Blah, 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 blah. You know? But anyway. Uh, how about we give you the chance to tell him yourself? We'll see how tough you are then. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't remember which song it is, but I know it is a Skrillex thing. But I think the quote was originally from South Park, if I'm not mistaken. So. Oh no! Let me kill this guy. I don't know why I touched him. I don't know why I did all the things. I just did. Okay. Sometimes you make mistakes in life. And sometimes you have to pay for them. And this time, it's one of those times. My dog's having such a hard time getting comfortable in the bed. I don't know what she's doing. She's like kicking her feet like a crazy lady. I don't think I heard that collab. Oh, interesting Azure Lightning. The actual, wait, the actual title of the song is called that? Finished, are you? Let's her cheat for now. I would love an acted cutscene so I could eat in peace. I would. So, 
Were you able to learn anything? Their leader is a man of the dust watch? That would explain why these bandits have been able to do as they please. And you say that they gave the bracelet to him? It seems we have our work cut out for us. Did you hear anything else of note? Zakawa. That's the boy who confronted one of the officers in town, isn't it? And you say that they threatened to take him to speak with the vulture? Their leader's alias, no doubt. Fighting for a man who preys on the helpless? Well then, not only do we have a better idea of who's behind the recent rash of robberies in Husatawi, but we also know he has the bracelet. Retrieving it without bloodshed will prove difficult, though, if he's that quick to point a gun at his own underlings. We need to get him alone. You're right. If we confront him with this henchman around, a violent outcome is all but guaranteed. Hmm, I might have a plan. There's a small settlement to the southeast of here. Luwataninyawawasa. Wait, Lu? What? And Ninja Wowsa. Meet me there and I'll explain everything. Whew. That was a that was a name. That was a name. Jesus. That was okay. I'm really trying to not butcher the pronunciation and do it how I feel like it should be done, but they do be making it hard. Okay. Um Mm-hmm. I'm with you, Maz. I'm with you. Wait. This is the one I can't get. Now let's try to go there again. To it. But the wall was so high. My weekend was okay, thanks for asking. How was yours? Did I have time to eat this? Again? Around where? It looks like it doesn't go around. Like where? Oh. Is this a tunnel? What the fuck? I didn't see the tunnel. I didn't see that. you all. I did not tunnel vision here. That's still good, Ragtag. That's still good. What is this video? Crazy lady. Where did, what? Sorry, what is this in relation to? South Park. What a what a thing to mess up. No, thank you.
Okay, we're almost there. Oh, was it for, from Reddit? You can handle that, that's good. Good. Okay, back to Erinville. If I retrieve the bracelet without conflict, it won't be done barging in the front door. We'll have to lure him out. To do that, we'll avail ourselves of Yahihi Seya, dragon like creatures that look to the south of here. It's their breeding season, you see, and the males will flock to the scent of a female in heat. With a few ingredients and a sample of their feces, I can create an attractant that resembles the scent when burned. We can then lure the Yi He He Sia into Bandit's hideout, flushing out the vulture and his gang. Then, while they contend with our flying friends, we can sneak in and search for the bracelet. I'm afraid I must ask that you collect the excrement. While you see to that, I will go and procure the remaining ingredients. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. I'll just do all this shit work. And before you say anything, I do not ask this because of my aversion to feces. It was simply easier for me to find the specific species of wild plants that we require. Take these three pouches, see them filled, and I will handle the rest. I'll just look for shit, yeah, no problem. I'll love to. No problem. Yeah, where is Shiva? True. So true. Oh no, mortgage! I'm so sorry. Hold on. There, it should work now. I apologize. I turned that off because I was playing Elden Ring on Friday. Oops. There you go. Do, 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 do. Uh, no droppings, chat. What a shame. You're right. You're right. Ugh. No droppings there either. All right, we got the poop. Now we go. We did it. Not quite done it, but close. Close enough. Alrighty, making our way. Aaron Bell's over here. We'll go check in with him. All right, finished already, are we? Here's your poop. Enjoy. I hope you like it. I'm sure it smells divine. Excellent. This will do nicely. All that's left is to mix the feces with tumble cloth fibers, dried napolo tender root, and a generous helping of animal fat. Come, let's go back to what's the person's name? Matanyawi. drugs right now. What is happening? Are you okay? Crazy lady. She's like licking her bed in like 10 different spots and she's like alternating between the spots. She'll do lick, 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 lick. Why? Why? Who do you know? Just lay down, bug. You've got water. You've got plenty of room to run around. There's nothing you could need right now.
Wait, that's like impossible, Azure Lightning. I don't, is that real? It seems sus as fuck is what it is. So tune in again. I think she's digging. And she's like digging and then licking like a weirdo. I don't know. Dogs are so interesting, you know? Sometimes you really gotta wonder. Everything is ready. Time to set our plan into motion. A fair number appear to be gathered inside. Now's our chance. I will keep watch from here. The attractant, I leave to you. Toss it into the bonfire in the middle of town. The yehehehsia will come soon after. Okay. Let's see if we can get this going. Going. To the destination spot. Looks beautiful. Love it. Sir, leave me alone. You don't see me. Really? Why do you have to be so rude? Triple Triad better. Triple Triad is definitely better than Tetra Master. Much better. Um. Plus. <laughs> yeah, you can play Triple Triad in this game, actually. At the Gold Saucer. What's that smell? Yeah, what's that smell? That reeks. What did you put in the fire? Wasn't me, I swear. Did something die? Someone to explain that ungodly stench to me? Tetra Master is just totally random. Like, I feel like it's, I don't know. I, I always like Triple Triad a little better. Uh, this is a new expansion, Captain Coochie, yes. Boss, over there. Huh? What in the world? Oh my god. Ah! Oh! Run for your lives! Hmm. So, the smoke's what drew them here? I swear when I found out who did this. Gross. I'd say our friends have stirred up enough trouble. Time to retrieve the bracelet. Yeah, flying ravioli, it's very true. Oop. Hey, what's going on out there? I'm still in here in case you've forgotten. Sit tight, we'll be back for you. What? You gotta get me out of here now, they're gonna kill me. I'm begging you, please. Shh, they'll hear you. Oh, well, a little bit late for that, I guess. Shit. Who was that? Oh, that friggin' kid just ruined the whole operation. Oh, God. Are you gonna help me or what? The bracelet must wait. Let's break him out and withdraw for now. The man kid, yeah. 
Queen's Blood was very fun. Yeah, I would say Queen's Blood was my favorite probably out of the three of them. But I would still put Tetra Master in last. He must be the bad guy, maybe. Maybe. All that effort and not to show for it. Sorry about that, but damn. I didn't think anyone would have the balls to take on the vulture. No need to apologize. We're planning to save you eventually. Really? And I don't even know who you are. You secret admirers of mine or something? Ew. I'm just having fun with you, but I do appreciate the help. This man they call the vulture. I've seen his face before. Was he not the officer you confronted in town? The one and the same. When he's not masquerading as a gang leader, he deserves... Sorry, he serves as Deputy Chief of the Dust Watch. That would explain why the bandits are so confident they can avoid capture. You're trying to get back something the vulture stole, right? Let me help. It's the least I can do after you bail me out back there. I have no idea... Sorry, I have an idea where he's hit his cash. Reckon he's headed there now, too. We can go together. I got a score to settle with him myself. I don't doubt that you do, but we need to know what it is first. Will you tell us? Bye, Seven String Army. Have a good one. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Right. So, those bandits at Tana Tanyawi, they're called the Daybreakers, and it was me and my friends that founded the group. But it wasn't a gang of cutthroats, not back then. We just wanted to protect people who couldn't protect themselves. Kids being harassed by bullies, workers being exploited by the mining concerns, folks who needed help, and even the odds. That was three years ago, and whenever we found someone scheming in the shadows, we settled matters the best way we knew how, with a duel. I see. By the old laws, anyone who loses in a duel must be held to account for their crimes, even those in positions of authority. And we made damn sure that they did, every time. Before we knew it, our small band of friends commanded a force to be reckoned with. Then about a year ago, the vulture and his thugs showed up. They got the best of us and took over the daybreakers. Everyone was afraid of him, so they did his bidding without question. But when he showed them how he, sorry, how they could make a fortune easily, that was when he really won them over. And the Daybreakers is nothing but a bunch of bandits and cutthroats who prey on the people it was created to protect. Shiva? Sounds good. I'll pull that out as soon as I'm done this. I talked it over with my friends, Quikana and Lawine, and we all agreed that the only way to stop him was to challenge him to a duel, and he accepted. I still remember how he gloated that he'd win. But when the day came, he showed up with the dust watch, and I had my friends... Oh, sorry, and had my friends arrested for robbery. That's not very good, is it? And if that wasn't enough, he set their bail at a price no one could ever hope to pay. With them locked away, there was no one left to help me. None of my old friends from the Daybreakers, and certainly not the Dust Watch. And that's why you are ready to challenge him in the middle of town? I wasn't until that guy with the spear stopped me. No sooner had I stepped out of town than the vulture's minions caught me by surprise. They took me prisoner. Then, well, you know the rest. You said the dust watch would be of no help? Are they all working for the vulture then? No, not all of them. The sheriff, Kamaka, he's as honest as they come. A staunch keeper of the peace. Problem is, he's a little too trusting and doesn't suspect a thing. If it were my word against the deputy chiefs, who do you think he'd believe? Hmm. I guess. Well, if he knows where this vulture keeps his spoils, perhaps he can help us recover Namika's, or Namika's bracelet. What do you think? Yes? For what it's worth, I have a plan, but I can't do it alone. A plan? All I ask is you hear me out, but not here. I'll be waiting for you in Shishenwezi Springs. I can never say these names, oh my god. 
I guess we can decide what to do after he gives us the pitch. Alright, we'll just have to head over there for the pitch, I guess. Okay, so we'll do the minion. We said Shiva. So I'll wind up Shiva. And then my choice for the mount. Let's go. We'll go this way. They really did. I think they did. I agree. I agree. I don't know how they got so unique with it. But here we are. I'm grateful we could he could take us to the deputy chief, but it will all be for naught if we're seen. Good, you're here. This is where he hides his loot. I expect I'll show up soon. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, well, look who it is. Storing stolen goods here seems risky, but I guess it's an option for someone with his authority. Yeah, he moves the spoils in the cerulean barrels where no one would think to look. They're mixed in with regular shipments of fuel to Tuliolol, where they're sold off. You said he stole a bracelet of yours, right? If he knows that you're on his tail, chances are he'll be eager to get what he can for it. But I doubt he'll trust a lackey with that business, given the provenance of the piece. No, I'll wager he's not letting the bracelet out of his sight till he gets coin in hand. I wasn't sure what to make of you after Husatawi, but I'm glad to see that you're more than an impulsive child. Ah, well, not my finest hour, I'll admit. But there's a lesson in that. The vulture's a slippery bastard. If you're going to catch him, we need to back into a corner with hard evidence. That's my plan. First, we need to lure him away from here. Over to Husatawi would be ideal. For that, I need one of you to help me. This will buy time for the other to search the barrel for any stolen goods. And using that will expose him as a criminal. There's no way to tell if Wuhute is carrying the bracelet, but regardless, there will be time enough to find it once he's behind bars. But won't he simply feign innocence? But we'll try, and that's when I'll challenge him to a duel. A duel? That approach didn't work so well for your friends, as I recall. True, but unlike before, I'll challenge him in front of the whole town. That way he won't be able to wiggle out of it like before. Every man, woman, and child of the wilds understands the importance of duels and the old laws. The deputy chief would never disgrace himself by refusing. But wouldn't you be breaking the law by using a firearm in town? It's not as if we'd be using live rounds, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. What's important is that I get him to duel with as many witnesses as possible. When he loses, and he will lose, that'll be the end of the vulture. The plan is not without flaws, but what do you think? Uh, yeah, do the duel. Oh my god, Rob, are you for real? It starts today. Is that also Canada? Because I only have DoorDash until July 27th. And then I have to cancel it because my Dash Pass thing for the year ends because it was with Amazon. And I don't like to pay for that stuff because I really rarely order through Dash Pass. Krispy Kreme Canada. I'm double checking. They have to have it, right? Passport to Paris. Raspberry and vanilla cream. Oh my god. No, it does say it's on the Canadian website. It is on the Canadian website. Creme brulee, double chocolate eclair. Chat, am I ordering Krispy Kreme? I went to yoga today. Do they sprinkle crack on it? That sounds delicious. Yep, I'm ordering it. Do you think we'll get it, Chad? No, I am welcome. Thank you. No, it's fine. It's fine. You know what? 
this will be my last dash pass purpose purchase and it's it's gonna be the best one it's gonna be so worth it i better get that raspberry one otherwise i will cry okay what do we got here uh full menu all i can do is the assorted and i don't have the option to put special instructions unfortunately but that's okay okay this needs to be done right now because they're gonna close so all right assorted dozen i hope they give me some good ones because i can't choose unfortunately they look amazing all of them sound delicious they we need to we need to hopefully get them um it is so cr like literally it is criminal it says like special instructions and like i click it and it's like oh sorry special instructions are not available for this vendor or whatever uh, okay sorted it's gonna be twenty dollars do i have any promo things i don't think i do standard Give it on my door, baby. Oh, it's gonna be twenty-five dollars because I have to tip. I forgot. Okay, still worth it. I'm on vacation. Hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. <laughs> That's a real song, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that, but it is. So, there you go. You're welcome. We are. We are getting donuts. Rob, let us know. They have some raspberry option, and I want it. So, hopefully, we get it. But I sent the order, and it should arrive in a half an hour, hopefully. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I do. More than worth it. More than worth it. I know, I like their classic too. 40 minutes is so far. You know what? They've opened up a few new locations in the city, so I got a little lucky, honestly. But the one that we had here originally was in Mississauga, which is like that far away to me. Well, like even further sometimes depending on traffic. So yes, I, I used to feel the pain. Thanks, I sure was lucky running into the two of you. You won't regret this, I promise. Oh, is that the one? Yeah, that, I went there one time with Lee because he used to live near there. But in regards to where I'm at, it's so far. So I was so lucky they added a bunch of locations in the city like in the last couple of years. But uh, Rob, thank you for letting me know about those. I would have never known. So thank you. If you're satisfied, then so am I. I knew I could count on you. Chilling it. I was seen and so not in yaoi so it's probably best i stay and search the barrels then you're with me tell the vulture i tried to rob you but you managed to overpower me even if he suspects the trap he won't be able to resist taking the bait you'll have to buy your friend as much time as possible and make your way to husatawi once you've got the vulture there i'll take care of the rest all right then let's get to it that's yeah, very far 50 minutes is pretty far I'm sorry I'm sorry for your loss. Okay, to the man. Let's see. Wahute. The Yihisiya, where likely the Shaton is doing. What's his angle? And then there's the brat. It's past time I dealt with him. He's oblivious to your presence. Perhaps a poke will get his attention. What's this? An unfamiliar face in these parts. Have you needed the dust wash, miss? I think so. Yep. Rob, thank you so much. You did not have to do this that, but I me. really appreciate it. Thank you for the donut. This man tells me about the donuts and he pays for them. A true gentleman. <laughs> Rob, thank you! That was really kind.
fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. I will. I will. Thank you. How deep am I into the MSQ? I still have quite a ways to go. I do have quite a ways to go. Sakawa tried to rob you, but you apprehended him? I see. So Desser was he to make his friends free from prison. He turned to a life of crime. How awful. Yes, how awful indeed. You have my sincerest thanks, miss. Might I trouble you to take me to him? Okay, he's accompanying me. Oh god, okay, stressed. I'm stressed. I think I'm supposed to go over here. Not that this is an appropriate time for me to play tour guide, but if you insist. Shoshenowezi Springs is home to a thriving cerulean mining industry. The prospect of easy coin has attracted some undesirables, though. Okay, I guess we're still going this way. Nobody will miss him. You're right, Hal the Okami. You're right. You're right. He's a scummy man. Friggin' swindling the townsfolk. Is that the right word? What does swindling mean? I don't actually know. Okay. Here we are. Uh, is this the place? I don't see him. Uh, just a little further. I see. Very well. Lead on. Really? Oh, this is really- it wants me to go all over. I would say he's stealing their trust. So yeah, he's a bad man. There's gold in these fields, blue gold. Must be wary of the beast in these parts. They may prefer to snack on cerulean, but for you, I reckon they'd make an exception. Can I mount with him accompanying me? Thank you for the lurk rag tag. I really appreciate it. Okay. To our destination. Right over here. Is this the place then? Sorry, I'm still learning my way around. Is this some sort of joke? Of all the. Let's keep going. I mean, I'm trying to get us there. The game is just leading me through these very interesting paths to get to the spot, so. He's gonna catch on soon enough. This better be the place. Uh, now I remember. My patient is wearing awfully thin, miss. If he isn't at the next place we stop, I may be forced to do something you and I both dearly regret. Why would he say that? Why'd he threaten me like that? Isn't he supposed to be a good guy? I mean, I know that he's not, but... All right, let's go. Pushing onwards. We got a quest marker in two spots. One for conversation and one for progress. Nope. Don't hurt me. Unless you'd rather I feed you on raw, needles and all, cut the, ch the chit chat. Oh. Would he have said anything differently there? I feel like no. I feel like that was just the one, the one thing he could have said. It's not like I could have bypassed any of the other stops. All right, where is he? I don't see him anywhere. Where's Akawa? Tell me where he is or I'll bury you in the same grave. 
Goodness me, where could he have gone? That's it. I've had it with these games, and I've had it with you. Hey, what you take? You looking for me? Yes? I think so. If you want to place me under arrest, you'll have to work a little harder. Me too, Moz. Me too. I'm with you there. Now we gotta chase this guy again. You'll be begging for us all by the time I'm done with you. Ooh. Wahoote! Finally caught up to me, I see. Uh-oh. Isn't our young outlaw? You've taken up stealing, I'm told. I can't say I'm surprised about that, but I am surprised that you'd offer yourself up to be arrested. Sorry to disappoint, but you're the one who's going to answer for their crimes today. Uh. Jewelry oh. in my bag. So you found the stolen goods. That's fine work. This barrel was at Shisenuetsi Springs, mixed in with others bound for Tuliola. The landscart would have presumed it part of the regular Cerulean shipments and waved it through. And once it reached its destination, it would have been retrieved, and its contents sold for coin. The audacity. Do we know who's behind this? No. As fortune would have it, <laughs> I spied the leader of this operation being hey, handed Jark, thank one you of so the stolen much. items. Happy Monday. A bracelet, which Vau Wuklamat had intended for her nursemaid, Namika. Oh, it is Namika, okay. I was saying it, it, it was properly. From a vow of resolve? I think. Oh, you've seen it then? Uh. No, n no, never. And if I knew who had it, I, I would have arrested the scoundrel. Yeah, right. You would have had to arrest yourself. Bitch. How about that? What's the meaning of this, Wuhute? It's a setup, sir. I, I have the bracelet, yes, but I only because I found it. I, I swear. Uh oh. They're the real criminals. They concocted this scheme to frame me. So they could get me out of the picture. Mm -hmm. If you feel your honor's at stake, there's always the old fashioned way. It's time to do it. 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 Do I challenge you to a duel. The winner is right, the loser is wrong. Doesn't get simpler than that. Hey Skylar, how's it going? Yeah, have at it. 
Let your pistols do the talking. Ooh, uh, spicy. Please, do you honestly believe you can goad me into playing your game? Hey, stick, you how's it going? Aw, <laughs> I hope you're feeling better. Alpaca's got more fight than you. Skylar, how's your Monday going? All right, boy. But remember, you asked for this. I did? You did? Come on, Zekawa! Give him what for! Oh, it's Zekawa. I think I said Zekawa. Shouldn't Whoops. we stop him, Chief? Even if it's just rubber bullets, we're in the middle of town. Be quiet. Just watch. Oh, they're letting it happen. Okay. That's a lot, Skylar. <laughs> I said turtle. Like you've gotten slow in your old age, Vulture. You and I are going to have a long talk. Uh oh. <laughs> He's in trouble. Apologize for dueling in the middle of town. If you want to lock me up, then lock me up. Nah. But please, let my friends go. They've done nothing wrong. You drew your gun within town limits. He did. But we who say drew first. Far as I'm concerned, you acted in self-defense. You're free to go. Thanks, guy. We appreciate it. As are your friends. <laughs> Cute. Uh, you're not such a bad guy after all. <laughs> Just a man of the wilds, like you. But to think that Wihute had taken control of the Daybreakers. It pains me that it happened right under my nose. What are you gonna do about his crew? Some of them are still in Tona Tenui. Those who have broken the law will be taken into custody. But okay. those who haven't will be given the chance to resume walking the straight and narrow. Okay, we like that. What about you, Zakua? What do you intend to do now? Why, what I've always done. Protect the weak and help the helpless. The old-fashioned way. Cute. Here, this was Vawuk Lamont's gift for someone, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, Robin Hoodless, true. Yes, a person very dear to her. I suppose this is where we go our separate ways. My thanks again for your help apprehending the vulture. Ta-ta! being rather more complicated than expected but all is well that ends well finally it's over i couldn't have brought him to justice without your help i don't know how i'll ever repay you
Now that we have the bracelet, let's return to Shishinoesi Springs. Will you be staying there long? I'd like to give you a proper thanks after I find my friends. We weren't planning on it, but there's no need to rush. We'll see you at the springs then. Okay, to the springs. So, I guess we need... Oh! Is this blue quest for a current? They are, yes, they are. Say, aren't you the one who was stirring up a fuss in town not long ago? I could use a capable hand like yours if you'd be willing to lend it. The name's Tonzoe. I'm not from around here, to be told. I live in Luwataninyawawasa, and I'm here visiting my grandson. I was excited to see him after so long, but then I spied him dealing with some unsavory looking man exchanging unusually large sums of money. I confronted him about what I saw, but he'll say a little more than it's just a misunderstanding, then grumble as he changes the subject. I realize this is sudden, but could you see if there's anything to be done to help him? He's in trouble, I just know it. Oh, weight's been lifted off my heart. Bless you, miss. His name's Zitekwa. Last I saw him, he was heading inside this here saloon. The Tonawata with the red cape pulled down over his face to cover those bruises most like. You can't miss him. Uh, upstairs? The Tequa. A new face in town? Well, what can I do for you? Thinks I'm in trouble, does he? There he goes jumping to conclusions as usual. I thought it'd be less of a hassle if I didn't tell him. Truth is, I've been helping other folk in town with their money troubles. Matter of fact, the man that you saw leaving just a moment ago is one of my clients. I should probably explain from the beginning. My work involves loaning guilt of folks having trouble with coin for one reason or another. There's a reason I can't lend them pal, but I'll get to that in a moment. My family's lived here long before there was an, there was ever a town here. But then people moved in, and they started expanding. Before long, Kamaka's family approached us about selling our land. It was around the time when trade overseas was gaining in popularity. I had it on good authority that Gil was on its way to becoming a common currency here in the wilds, so I decided to sell the land for Gil and use those funds to start my own business. Sure enough, everything went as expected and the business is starting to do well. It's not without its troubles, seeing as money's involved, but never lend to any unsavory types. Your grandfather's worried sick about you. Oh, GH, thank you so much for the tier 3 reset for 53 months! I really appreciate that so much. Thank you. Oh. Happy Monday! I hope you're having a great day. And I'll change the minion as soon as I get out of here. Thank you. The whole point of me keeping quiet was so I wouldn't make him worry. Seems my silence only made things worse. He found himself in a real tight corner once. Gil's what got in there. And now he wants nothing to do with the stuff. When I told him of my idea to sell the land, the moment Gil came out of my mouth, his whole mood turned sour. He said he'd put everything in my name and whatever happens after that's on me. It's not exactly easy to bring up my work when it involves the one thing he seems to hate more than anything, but maybe this time, I changed that. This job does more than put food on the table. I'm able to help people. Help this town. But how do I get him to see that? I got it. You're going to come and watch me work. I what? Why? Grandpa won't hear anything I say. If it involves Gil. But he might come around to a first-hand account from you. So come and see what good my work does for Hasatawi and how I help the people here. He did send you here to help, didn't he? I promised to make it worth your while. Okay. Guess I'm doing that. 
Right then, before we get started, I should probably know who it is I'm working with. Marissa, eh? Well, Marissa, our first stop is to go and see a miner named Wakwaze. He had a pretty bad accident on the job a while back. Had no money for treatment or much of anything, really, so I loaned him the gill he needs to keep on his feet. But now, it's well past the time he returns what he owes and he hasn't said a word. There's been time enough for him to not only return back to work, but also receive his wages several times, in fact. He usually comes here into town when he's not working and his shift ends soon. Maybe just outside of town if we're lucky, we'll catch him just as he arrives. Okay. So, uh, let's go back down. Oh, this guy's doing a little jig. Good, what, what, good moves. He's got good moves. Good thing is, this is the only blue quest in this area, but there are many. I just guess I haven't seen all of them yet. Oh, they're in this section. Fuck. That doesn't look like all of them, though. You're here for the money? I was gonna pay, honest. I just mixed up the dates is all. Can we settle this later? I'm busy. I know that you're lying, Wakwase, and you're not going anywhere until you can look me in the eye and tell me why you're late paying me back. He's obviously hiding something, but I'm not looking to start trouble. I don't suppose there's anything you can do to persuade him? Maybe a little flex to show him that we are serious? Spicy. Ye gods, look at those arms! And those freakishly hardened neck muscles! Fine, just put all that away. I know, I'm so intimidating. Uh. Thank you. You're welcome. For the front row to the gun show. I know. I know. It's all here! And with interest, if you have the money, why go through all the trouble of avoiding me? Ha <laughs> You know what? Okay, one of my ex-boyfriends had shark neck. And I didn't know what shark neck was until I met him. He's a very nice guy, though. When I was still on the men, my lady friend took really good care of me, see? I wanted to buy her something fancy to thank her, and well... I understand. Really, I do. But you really want to make her happy. You s Sorry, but if you really want to make her happy, you need to get your life together. I'm willing to give you a loan one last time, but we're going to have a long talk about how to manage your savings first. You're right. What good am I to her if I'm out in the street without a gill or even a pell to my name? I'll give it some thought, and we can talk later. Uh, we trust this a second time? I can't blame him for wanting to show his appreciation to a loved one, but it's no excuse to get carried away with the spending. So, what do you think of my job? The job, the money I loaned him paid for his treatment and supported him through his recovery. That has to count for something, right? Uh, I'm gonna say nothing. Well, there's always our next client. When you're ready, we can be on our way. No, I think one is good enough for me. It gave me a current. As long as you're you're not blue when I get out of here, then I am moving on, sir. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, the mount was my choice last, right? I think. I'll take the bike. It could have been a nod to that. My fave shark is the left shark. Chad, you heard all the controversy that's happening around Katy Perry's latest uh, music stuff. It's pretty bad. It's not looking too good for her right now. It is not looking too good. Just referencing the shark thing. Oh, so she's working with a producer by the name of Dr. Luke. And Dr. Luke um, used to work with Kesha. And Kesha and Dr. Luke had a court case related to, I think bad stuff that he did to her like very bad stuff um and then there's a lot of like parallels between like katy perry's new music video and like stuff that kesha's released in the past and it's just really distasteful like the way that katy perry's kind of nodding to it 
and like mocking it in a lot of cases. I saw a Twitter thread about it and it was pretty rough and I don't think that it was reaching in a lot of cases. So it was really sad to see because like I used to really like Katy Perry's music but now I'm kind of like, does she, how does she not knowingly do this? Like it's really interesting. Yeah, that's probably the one. So I think that in one of Kesha's music videos, she was like deflated and she was like laying beside a deflated version of herself. And it was supposed to be like symbolic in like a positive way, I think, of like her moving on from that situation that she was in before. And then Katy Perry's deflated in her music video. And that was the side by side that I saw. And I was like, that's the little, that's too on the nose. What is going on here? Like, why would you do that? And you're working with the same producer. Like, it just, it seems a little sketchy to me. That's an interesting collaboration. Hey, Hans, how's it going? Also, my Krispy Kreme is getting dropped off. I'm waiting for the guy to leave, and then we're gonna go get it. Welcome, Traveler. I wonder if while you're out exploring, you might be able to do me a small favor. There's a cave network nearby where my daughter has gone to offer her prayers, but she's forgotten the all-important fish oil candle. I would take it to her myself if it weren't for this terrible pain in my foot. Oh, it hurts something fierce, it does. Do you think you could give her this candle for me? I think so. Yeah... I don't know, like, I don't know, like, obviously no one has confirmed, I don't think Katy Perry has spoken out about it, but, like, just the comparison seem too, too dead on to be, like, coincidental, you know what I'm saying? So, it just doesn't leave a good taste in my mouth, what I'm seeing. It could be, 100% it could be. We did, we did find the Wild West. I wonder where Will Smith is. Wild Wild West. We're going to the Wild Wild West. Do, 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 do. Also, I'm gonna stand right in this doorway chat and I'm gonna get my donuts and we're gonna pray that I got a raspberry one. Okay? I'll be right back. It better be in there. Yeah, my dad almost stepped on my donuts. <laughs> my dad almost stepped on my donuts. They left them on the front step. But like, right where you walk, you know? And he's like, I almost stepped on these. I was like, no, don't scratch my dog. It's here. They put it in here. It's, oh, they gave me the, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta go full screen. Hold on. Okay, chat. So, there is a Krispy Kreme collaboration happening right now with Krispy Kreme and uh, something about Paris. I don't know. I don't really care. But, there is a raspberry one, which is the one we wanted. We also got this other one over here. But I think that's two from the collection. I think that one of them is missing. Um, what was the other flavor? The creme brulee one? I don't think it's here. Although, I would have loved that one because I really like creme brulee. But I'm gonna try the straw, I mean, the raspberry one. It looks like strawberry though, like it's really light pink. Why would, why would they do it like a richer color? I feel like it would, should've been, should've been, should've been, should've, would've, could've been. Um, what was the, what was the chocolate one called? Lucky Girl Monday, I'll take it. Hold on. Whiskey Cream, what was it called? Hi Steph. Oh, maybe the Paris Olympics? It says passport to Paris. So the chocolate one's called chocolate eclair. We did not get the creme brulee. Fuck, I really wanted that one too. But raspberry and vanilla is what I ultimately wanted. That was the one I really wanted to try. So, um, I'm gonna eat that one. I need a hair clip though. And I also need a tissue. They are, they are. Rob, we got two out of three. We got two out of three of them. We didn't get the, the creme brulee one, but we did get the other ones. I'm gonna eat the raspberry one right now. I'll go back to my game screen too, but I just wanna show you guys the donuts. Hold on. It's also really hot in here right now. Holy moly. It is a hundred degrees. 
These are gonna melt. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the hallway so they don't melt because it's really hot in here. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Oh, shit. <gasps> My sits! Oh, God. This is very chaotic. Miss UK, love you're looking great. Hope the mood is as good and that FF14 is going good. Yeah. PS, I'm in your walls. Your donuts are not safe. What the hell is that? Okay. Um, Steph, thank you so much. I really appreciate the resub as well for 16 months. Thank you. You're in my walls? That kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I am concerned. Okay, I'm literally sweating. It's because I have pants on. These are probably the most comfortable pants I own, but it is too hot in here. Okay, it's raspberry time. Oh my god. That's the best Krispy Kreme donut I've ever had. That's the best Krispy Kreme I've ever had! Wow. Yeah. So, actually no, it's not filled. No, just topped. It's the icing, I guess. Oh, what's the... Oh, it's really good. Mm. Rob, it sounds like you're making a drive. That's not your, that's what you're doing. I really love this donut. It's really good. I also, I am like, I'm a, I'm a hoe for raspberry. Like I really love raspberry. I'm like, I feel like it doesn't get appreciated enough. But man, this is so good. This is the best donut I've ever had. Mm. Oh my god. So I think that, okay. The donut is a donut that has a hole in the middle, but they did put like the white vanilla in the middle. It's not in the middle of the donut though. It's not like it's cream filled. They just put it like in this where the hole is. You know what I mean? I could fall asleep after eating this. It's like that good. Oh man. Okay, I'm almost done. I think it's the consistency. It's kind of like a cupcake icing. It's in between a cupcake icing and the inside cream. It does. It does, Rob. You're right. You're right. I actually really like the classic Krispy Kreme donuts. Without, like, anything on them. They're really good. Or, like, just the glaze. Sorry, I should say. Oh my god, this is so good. Thanks again, Rob. I'm gonna have to wash my hands, they're really sticky. The inside cream. What else am I gonna call it? Hmm? I'm just telling the truth. That's where it is. Inside. You know? Oh my god, detonator. <laughs> 
Your words, chat. Your words. I'm so itchy right here. Hey, I'm not the one being sus. You guys are being sus. Akameli. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. That was delicious. Hold on. That was so good. Let me move my dog's blanket also. Wow, that was great. Oh man, I wish I had given me two. <laughs> Chad, if you have a Krispy Kreme near you, you definitely gotta go get those donuts. I'm really excited to try the other one too, the chocolate eclair one. It, but is chocolate eclair dark chocolate? It looks like the dark chocolate kind of donut. Maybe I'll split that one in half. I want to taste it, but I don't know if I'm going to love it. I like some dark chocolate. Like, um, there's, uh, there are exceptions to the rule for that. Like, sometimes I feel like they're a little too deep. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Also, I'm just, like, walking into, or driving into walls here. It's really, it's good. Where am I supposed to be going? Uh, this way. There we go. Something I can help you with? Hello? It did. Well, I was trying to look at the other screen while I was trying to drive. That probably wasn't a smart idea at all. You came all the way to deliver this? I'm awful grateful to you and to my mom for realizing I'd forgotten to bring the candle. You see, these caverns are sacred ground where we come to pray to our ancestors and the more recently deceased. These flames provide the living way, the living, a way to communicate with the dead. And thanks to you, I can light a candle on my own and say a little prayer. I also think I forgot to change my minion. Shit. Since you're here, maybe you could stand before the flames and offer a few words to your departed loved ones. It don't matter where you're from, all spirits are welcome here, living or dead. Give me one second. Oops. It was... Oh, crap. Wait, what was the name of the minion I was supposed to pull out again, Nathan? I'm so sorry, I forgot. I don't think I did it, did I? I can't remember. Ocean. I put O-C, thinking that I spelled it correctly, but I didn't. Thank you. Which mount would you like, Aikameli? Uh, I can't warp back for this one. Crap. No, it's okay. I did have Shiva out previously, but I, I mean, technically right then, but I hadn't switched it over. I remember there was another redeem a little bit late, so I apologize. Oh man, that was so delicious. I loved it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nathan. I got very excited. Listen, we got so lucky that they gave us the new collection, though, because, like, there have been times where I have ordered the donuts and we have not gotten the specialty uh, collection. Like that has happened a number of times and like I didn't want to disappoint myself or you guys so we got very lucky. Whatever looks closest to a giraffe. Okay, let me get to this destination and I'll take a look at the list. I don't think I have anything that looks like a giraffe but we can try. Sorry addicts, I apologize. Okay, so, whoops, mount guide. Uh, okay, I've got, this one is gonna have to be the closest, I think. The antelope, stag. 
Welcome back. I'm guessing you were able to find my daughter, no doubt, in her usual spot. She never was one to do things the easy way. You know, as much of a stickler for traditions as she is, she usually asks for the railroad company. Still, I gotta hand it to her. She manages to work towards a promising future without losing sight of her roots. I sure am proud of her. But don't tell her that I said that, will you? Wouldn't want her getting a big head or nothing. Well, I'd say me and the daughter of mine have taken up enough of your time, but it was awful nice meeting you. Thanks a million for helping us out. About to get a snack? What are you gonna get? I was gonna have edamame after stream, but I'm pretty satisfied with that donut right now. I think I'm probably gonna have another one later. No edamame tonight. All right, let's teleport here. Oh, also guys, I had Japanese food on Saturday and the edamame did not taste right. So I always go to the same Japanese restaurant when my sister and I go. Um, and I always order the edamame from there. No, it wasn't too wet. It was hard. Like, I don't think they cooked it for long enough. And I was like, this is always cooked to perfection. I am shocked. I was a little upset. I was, I was a little upset. My bracelet. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is more than just a gift. It is a part of me I could never hope to replace. Truly, Wukla Mod is blessed to have such devoted friends. You're right, Rob. You're right. I actually have to decide when I'm wearing to yoga tomorrow, too. I'm going to yoga class tomorrow morning. And before I go to bed, I need to pack my bag and decide what I'm wearing. Something that hides bloating from donuts. <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it quite that way. I prefer to think of us more as long-standing acquaintances. Regardless of how you choose to describe it, there's no denying the depth of your bond. Though I'm sure you'll continue to do so. Can't say I'm surprised the deputy chief turned out to be the bandit's leader. I always knew something wasn't right about him. Yeah, I don't know. I think that maybe, because my sister and I had appetizers, so I feel like maybe they tried to time it, like, at the same time. But I felt like mine wasn't ready yet. It was a little sad. Normally this place is, like, perfect. Like, everything tastes so good, so I can forgive them for the one time mistake that they never make, usually. Um, and the beef steak was really good. We had, uh, I had beef steak teriyaki, and a bunch of tempura, and California rolls, and rice, and everything else tasted really good. So, an easy claim to make with a gift of hindsight. Yeah, it was, it was called beef steak tempura. I mean, sorry, beefsteak teriyaki, not beefsteak tempura. That's what it was called. I don't know, that's just the name of it. I think that there was a different type of beef that they served that wasn't steak. I don't know. It, it There was actually like a separate option that had a different name that was beef. I don't know. I'm just telling you what it said. I could pull up the menu. Will that help? Let's see. Um, I didn't work there. I didn't make the menu. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. So, oh, here we go. Okay, so the option was beef steak or beef short rib. Now, those were the options. So there's beef steak teriyaki and beef short rib teriyaki. So that's why they had two different names and they clarified. There you go. There you are! The real daybreakers have arrived. It's unfortunate. Um, I, I mean, I have friends that are vegan. And I've tried, like, you know, faux chicken nuggets and stuff. They're alright. Some of them are okay. I guess so, Maz. I don't know. I just read the menu. <laughs> it could be a translation thing, totally. I'd like you to meet my two best friends, Quakana and Lawine. If it wasn't for you believing in Zik and oh shit, how do they say his name? Zakua? And doing what you did, we'd still be locked up. You have no idea how satisfying it is to see that bastard Wahute put behind bars. We never gave up hope that Zekwa would find a way to get us out. He always was the best of the daybreakers. Glad he was able to convince you to go along with his plan. Unfortunately, our group is smaller now and lacking in strength besides. Some outlaws might see us as an easy target. 
Even so, if anyone should give the Dutch watch the slip, the daybreakers will be there. We'll train night and day, so no one will get the better of us ever again. Isn't that right? Right, and you'll teach us how to draw your pistol so fast, won't you? Well, we won't need to duel if all goes as it should. But on the off chance it doesn't, we'd best make sure everyone can match our beat. Or beat my speed. We owe you a great debt, and one of these days, it'll be sure... I'll be sure to repay it. On that, you have my word. Until we meet again. Apparently. Apparently, it's a pistol. If you'll excuse me, I shall find a quiet place to rest. As I'll be here a while yet, though, do let me know if there's any way I can be of assistance. Were you not planning to take the train home? Oh, train service has been suspended, didn't I tell you? No? You mentioned no such thing? Just think about the tracks being damaged in the quake. The tunnel was closed as well. An earthquake? It must have happened when we were still down south. There have been quite a few tremors of late, and a rather large one struck not long before you two arrived. I can only hope no one was hurt. At any rate, if you want to know when service will resume, you should speak with the station master yourself. Let's do that. The station is just over there. Yeah, for real. As you're like, dang, for real. Oh my god. Okay. She should be at the beginning of the game. Oh, I'm going the right way, I think. go here to Aaronville. I see people aren't too happy about the train delays. I mean, why would they be? I hate when there are train delays for transit. It is so frustrating. I'm so sorry, but we're not sure when the train will be running again. Oh, that sounds like Toronto, too. Uh, you've got to be joking. Of all the places to get stuck at on the way... That was a long silence. Which minion would you like, Nathan? Ow. Okay. Please don't tell me you've come to complain too. <laughs> yeah, I know, we I know, Seamus. The earthquake had caused disruptions and wanted to ask when operations would resume. Uh, but I see that it will be a while yet. Uh, yeah. Seems out of Woodley. Will I'm be. afraid so. Wibbly. Too few hands for too much work. It's time consuming enough to inspect the tracks after every quake, but this last one we got after the succession ceremony was massive. It made a mess of a whole bunch of railroad ties. Damn, that's unfortunate. The succession ceremony? We would have been in Tuliola at the time. If it was as violent as you say, we should have felt it as well. Yeah, why I have I? to admit, it was a touch strange, having seen my fair share of tremors. If I had to describe it, it felt more like the rumbling from an explosion. Is there anything I can do to help? Seriously? You're offering to help? Yes. What about you, my friend? If you'd rather strike out on your own, I understand. Uh, oh, if you were willing to lend us a hand, too, we'd be truly tremendously grateful. Uh, I guess I'm staying yet? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Shenza, by the way. Hi. Pleasure Hi, to Shenza. make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you. If you would please step inside, I can introduce you to everyone. To everyone? Sorry for dragging you into this. Oh, no problem. I'm a god killer, but I mean, I could help fix a train situation, I guess. That's fine. Good use of my talents. Obviously. There they are. That's them. The two volunteers. Walika is our station master, and over there is our top driver, Nitoikwe. 
And this grizzled mug is Zofia, an engineer who joined around the same time as me. Much obliged for the help. I'll make it worth your while, I promise. Okay. I appreciate somebody saying that, at least. <laughs> Something the matter? Uh, would you happen to be a fan of trolleys? Yeah, wait, wasn't that in the other? Yeah! Trolleys? They're fine, I suppose, but they're no match for our cerulean-powered engine. She's absolutely glorious, let me tell you. If you'd like to bask in her beauty, well, you should visit the depot behind the platform. <laughs> right then. What I'd like you two to do is help us procure timber. We'll be using it to fashion new railroad ties, so it needs to be the strongest stuff we can get. Okay. In these parts, that means the trees in the Piata Yonan Plain. It is Hetsaro territory, though, so we need to get their permission first. That would be great, Dad Then I Come could on, travel no in style for wait. cheap. Though no small number live in Shaloni, I must confess that I've never visited the home of Hetsaro. As they largely live in accordance with older traditions, I suspect they may have a dim view of the railroads. Come, let's follow Walika. There's another station on the way, so be sure to drop in. The train will be in the depot, but you can still see it from the outside. I'm quite taken with the sleek design of the headband myself. Sorry, head end myself. Though if you peek through the windows, you can probably catch a glimpse of... Enough jabbering, Shenza. Thanks to these two, we finally have some real work to do. So let's get to it. We'll see you later. I suppose there's no harm in stopping at the station. It's on the way after all. Okay. I think I'm going to wrap up there for today.